you guys doing happy june happy june guys this is the first day of june happy june how is everyone doing today how is everybody doing today and if you can hear me please give me a thumbs up if you can hear me please give me a thumbs up can you guys hear me okay can you guys hear me okay if you can hear me please give me a thumbs up before i continue this is going to be a short live and just to warn you the replay is going to be on my youtube channel i'm not going to leave this on my instagram it's going to be on my youtube channel so hello i wanted to come to talk to you guys good 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 hi hi melody how are you hi melody so happy june guys i wanted to come out before it got too humid and before it got too hot in Hotlanta to come and talk to you guys about one thing that I want to base the theme on this month because it's so important. It's such an important part of life. Okay, so today we're talking about self-esteem and the importance of self-esteem because in my work with women, I, I'll say that I've been working with women for the past... 13 to 15 years, I've worked with many medical students, many female and male medical students. And then, you know, even we uh, separate from my work with medical students, I've been coaching. You guys know I've been coaching formally. I've been coaching formally since 2020, but I've also been mentoring forever, right? I've been a mentor to medical students for 15 years. I've been mentoring women since I've been active on social media since 2017. And I want to say today, thank you. Thank you guys for saying I'm looking gorgeous. Thank you. And I want to say today that the one factor, the one factor, the one common factor that blocks a lot of women from all of their fulfillment and their success and their purpose and from peace and from joy is self-esteem. And what is self-esteem? Self-esteem is defined simply as how you view yourself. What is your self-worth? What importance do you put on your life, right? How do you see yourself in this life? How do you see the importance of you being alive in this world? What kind of weight do you put on your life? What kind of importance do you put yourself? Uh, do you put on yourself? What is your self-worth? And unfortunately, I know that for many women, they won't want to say, oh, I have low self-esteem. I mean, some women do, they're humble enough to say that they do have low self-esteem. But it's not many women that will agree with you that they have low self-esteem. And self-esteem and self-confidence are kind of related. They're not quite the same. I prefer to use self-esteem rather than self-confidence because I think self-confidence is a part of self-esteem, right? Self-confidence is a part of self-esteem, but self-esteem is a more broad, is it's a more broad term. It, it basically is what is the importance of your life? How do you see yourself in this life? And unfortunately, with all of my work with women, too many too many women have low self-esteem way too many and i want us to start off june with being conscious of our self-esteem and being aware of how it is actually blocking our peace our joy our fulfillment and our happiness okay from now from june 1st until the end of this year i want all of us to start being aware of what our self-esteem is. Now, why is self-esteem so important? Why do I want to base my theme for this month and basically for the rest of the year on self-esteem? It is so important. When we're done with this live or when you're wa done watching this video, and like I said, the replay is going to be on my YouTube. I'm not leaving this on my Instagram. It's going to be on my YouTube. But when we're done with this live, I want you guys to also look up the definition of self-esteem look up the definition of self-esteem read up about it then take some quiet time you know to figure out to really ask yourself that question that how is my self-esteem is my self-esteem okay 
Is it high? Is it low? Where exactly is my self-esteem? What importance do I put on my life? What importance do I put on myself? What importance do I put on my presence in this world? I want you to ask yourself those questions because if you're honest with yourself, okay? If you're honest with yourself, your life will change. Now, let's get into it. Why is self-esteem so important? It is extremely important. And like I said, it's related to self-confidence, but it's not quite the same. Okay, it's not quite the same. Why is self-esteem so important? Well, it is, it is very, very important. If you don't start focusing on your self-esteem starting today and let it be the theme and the nucleus of everything that you're doing and everything that you're planning for your life and how you start to position yourself in this world, you're going to keep on rotating and circling around and not, you will not be able to achieve your goals and you will not be able to find purpose or find meaning or fulfillment. Why? Because self-esteem is important for number one, number one, our mental health. Okay, that is the number one thing I want to tell you today. If your self-esteem is low, your mental health will be low. It will be bad. It will be affected. So number one is why is self-esteem so important? It's important to your mental health. If you find people today who are fulfilled, who are happy, who are at peace with the world, they most likely have high self-esteem. So if your self-esteem is low, your mental health will be affected. You'll have a higher chance of being depressed, okay, of being sad, of just being feeling just, you know, ap apathetic about life, apathy. You're going to have life apathy if your self-esteem is low. Number two, the other parts of your health will not do well. If your self-esteem is low, if you don't deem yourself as an important part as an important human in this world, your physical health will be affected, your emotional health will be affected, your spiritual health will be affected, okay? So that's number one. If your self-esteem is low, your level of mental, physical, emotional, and spiritual health will also be very low. Number two, if your self-esteem is low, you can guess what the next thing is. If your self-esteem is low, your financial freedom will be low. Your financial independence, your wealth building, your ability to be able to make money, your ability to be able to have a successful business, your ability to be able to rise up in your career will be severely affected. Okay? So... You should now understand why I know, and I've been researching this, I've been reading about self-esteem for the past several weeks because it is such a repeating problem that I see in my coaching and in my, and in my communication and in my work with women that a lot of women have low self-esteem. A lot of women have low self-esteem. And the troubling fact is many of them are not aware of it. That is what troubles me the most. That is what is, I feel is most dangerous. Most women that have low self-esteem are not aware they have low self-esteem until I start to question them, ask them questions, you know, do some self-esteem practices, do some self-esteem questioning. And then I tell them, do you know that you don't think very highly of yourself? Do you know that your self-esteem is really low? And they're like, oh, no, no, but I'm a very confident person. And I'm like, no, no, no. So the, the troubling part is that a lot of women are also not aware that their self-esteem is low. So I've told you that if your self-esteem is low, it will affect your every part of your health and well-being, your mental, physical, emotional, spiritual well-being. If your self-esteem is low, it will affect your financial freedom and your financial independence. You're not going to be able to have a successful business. You're not going to be able to rise in your career. You're not going to be able to negotiate for what you should earn. You're not going to be able to come live. Something as simple as coming live. You're not going to be able to create content efficiently. A lot of you don't want to show your face on social media. You know, a lot of you don't want to do lives. You don't want to do reels. You don't want to show your face. You don't want to show your body. You, you think you're too big. You're too fat. You're too thin. Your nose is too wide. You're too this. You have too much acne. All that is related to self-esteem. 
all that is related to self-esteem. It's low self-acceptance, low self-love. So your business will be affected, right? Because in these days of online businesses and content creation, nine out of 10 women don't want to show up on social media because they are too conscious about the way they look. All that's part of low self-esteem, right? So it's gonna affect your money, your business, your career, and your purpose. Because if you're not showing up, how are you going to fulfill your purpose? Number three, Number three, big one that you, a lot of you are concerned about, it's going to affect all your relationships. And I know the one you guys are most, uh, 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 what's it called, particular about, are your love relationships. If your self-esteem is low, you guys can complete the sentence. If your self-esteem is low, your marriage will be affected, your dating life will be affected, you'll choose poorly the kinds of men you're going to choose you're not going to choose the, the, the right kind of men that are good for you. You're not going to pick high quality men or high value men. You won't have boundaries. You're just going to put up with bad behavior from them. You know, it's like I can keep talking and talking and talking. If your self-esteem is low, you do the math. Your relationships are going to suffer. There are so many women that come to my DM and when I tell them that the reason why you're having this whole paragraph of problems that you're messaging me, DMing me about is because you have low self-esteem. And they're like, what? So basically, basically in conclusion, self-esteem is going to affect every single part of your life, every single part of your life. If you have low self-esteem, you're going to have a low quality of life. So this is why I want to focus on self-esteem as the theme for June and as the theme for the rest of the year. Now you're going to ask me, but how do I increase my self-esteem? That's the million dollar question. That's the million dollar question. I've already given you one assignment today. When we're done, when you're done watching this live or done watching this video that I'm going to post, post on YouTube, go and search for the meaning of self-esteem. Find out what it means. Journal about it. Ask yourself deep-seated questions. Ask yourself honest questions. Try to figure out where your self-esteem is. Is it low? Is it just okay? Is it high? High self-esteem doesn't mean you're perfect. I know that I have high self-esteem and nobody can tell me otherwise. And this is why I've been able to, at every goal that I lay my hands on, I take it to fruition and I achieve my goals. Why? Because I have high self-esteem and I've had high self-esteem for a long time. This is also why I could walk away from my toxic marriage. This is why I could start a practice and, and take it to seven figures. This is why... This is why I'm able to maintain my size and my, and my weight in my 50s so that, you know, I can be healthy. This is why my business is successful. This is why I could walk away from a toxic marriage. This is why I, I choose only positive people around me. Does it mean I'm perfect? No, absolutely not. Nobody is perfect except God. But I have a high self-esteem, so therefore I have a very positive outlook of myself. I have very high self-worth and I hold myself with very high importance on this earth. But many women can't say that. Many women will just say, oh, I'm confident. Well, confidence and self-esteem, they're similar, but they're not the same. They're not the same. Being confident is a small part of your overall self-esteem. And even many women who say, oh, I'm confident. They're not even confident. They say they're confident. And I say, okay, let's go live. And they're like, oh, I can't. I don't, I don't want to go live. I want to lose 10 pounds first. I want my acne to clear first. And I want this. I want my best makeup to arrive in the mail first. I want my lashes to be long first. You know, so all that's part of self-esteem. So... How do you improve your self-esteem? There are many ways, like I said, take some quiet time, think deep about it, journal about it, but, but I have to tell you the truth. The only way you're going to really be able to increase your self-esteem to the point where you'll start winning in life 
to the point where you'll start making money, your health and wellness will improve, your love relationships will improve, you'll have peace, you'll be purposeful, you'll be happy, you'll be fulfilled. I'm not saying your life will be perfect. Life is still going to have its ups and downs. But the, the only way, Luna, be quiet. The only way that you're going to be able to improve your self-esteem is by seeking support getting help okay you're going to need the help of a coach and a therapist maybe a therapist not everybody needs a therapist but everybody needs a coach i'm just telling you the truth if you look at people who've had who have high self-esteem i can tell you that every one of them has had a coach or has a coach I can tell you that I had a coach for many, many years in my 30s, 40s. I had not even a coach. I had coaches. <laughs> I had many coaches, coaches, consultants. I went to many conferences. So I've been building up my self-esteem for years and years and years, and I still work on it. So how are you going to be able to improve your self-esteem? You get a coach. I want that to be your mission this month, this month of June. I want that to be your mission. All of you who have been putting off, oh, you know, I'll sign up with you later, I'll come later. I'm asking you that let this be the month you make the decision to sign up to my coaching. Because I'm telling you, your self-esteem is important to every single part of your life. And this is a major block for many women. This is going to be my theme for this month and for the rest of the year. Because if you can start to focus on your self-esteem, the importance you put on yourself in this world, and start to really realize that, huh, Dr. Yabo is right. My self-esteem is actually low. It's actually not where it should be. Then you'll know you need help. You can read all the self-help books. You can... You know, you can journal from now until eternity. You can take the longest walks. You can have the best friends around you. If you don't seek support, if you don't seek support to really help you figure out everything. I mean, it is, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a deep dive. When you're trying to improve your self-esteem, it's a deep dive. It's not something where you just talk to somebody for one minute or one hour to improve your self-esteem, you, you need to seek support. Because I've told you that your self-esteem affects every part of your life. So if you're on this live today or you're watching the replay and you're struggling with your marriage or you're struggling with your dating life, you can't seem to just have a stable uh, dating life. Your marriage just doesn't seem to be doing well. You know, for one reason or the other, you just don't have money. You're living from hand to mouth. You can't pay your bills on time. You can't travel. You can't do this. You can't do that. Your business isn't doing well. You don't have any clients. You can be, hardly make any money. You want to start an online business. You just can't. You don't know what's going on. Check your self-esteem. Check your self-esteem. Okay? Check it out. And how do you improve your self-esteem? You seek support. You hire a coach. You hire me to help you. You hire me to help you. You can say it's too expensive. You can say this from now till, you know, till eternity. But if you don't get a qualified coach to help you, your self-esteem will stay low and you'll continue to struggle with all of life issues. So that's what I came to discuss today. And I'm out of here. That's what I came to discuss. This is going to be my theme for this month. Okay? It's going to be my theme. The importance of self-esteem and what to do about it. I've told you the importance and I've told you what to do about it. You have to seek support. And the support has to be paid support. Because if you hire somebody for free, they are not going to be de dedicated to helping you. So... I'm, I'm asking all of you, there are many of you that I can see on this live today who've been in and out of my DM asking me about my coaching. This is the time. This is the month, okay? This is the month that you need to do what you need to do to come and sign up for my eight weeks coaching. Whether it's the eight weeks, whether it's the four weeks, just come to my DM and start seeking support for your self-esteem, okay? Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. The replay will be on my YouTube. I'll see you guys later on this week live, but I'm out of here. You guys have a wonderful day. This is June.
make this month different from what you've been doing in the past. Do something. Do something that you've never done before. Invest in yourself. Invest in a coach. Invest in your future. Invest in all of those things that keep you up at night. Invest in somebody to help you with them. Okay? Take care, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. God bless.